The UAE aims to be the economic, commercial and tourism capital of more than 2 billion people. The industrial sector is one of the most important sectors that the UAE has begun to pay attention to in its development. As this sector contains many projects, tourism is one of the most important sources of income in the United Arab Emirates. This sector has witnessed a great boom, and Dubai ranked fourth in the tourism sector among all countries of the world. The Emirate has diversified its sources of income, and it worked to reduce the exploitation of natural resources, and to move towards new tourism projects. Construction of Real Estate, Hotels and Skyscrapers In this video, we will show you the current and future projects of the United Arab Emirates. But first, do not forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. The Hyperloop train is one of the most prominent projects in the Middle East. It is the first project of its kind in the region. It is a high-speed train that connects the Emirates of Dubai and Abu Dhabi. It can reduce the time it takes to get to Dubai from Abu Dhabi to just 12 minutes. The speed of a Hyperloop train is 1,200 km per hour. The train is environmentally friendly because it does not depend in any way on any type of fuel. Project Mars 2117, in its final stages, aims to build the first human settlement on Mars within a hundred years. It includes a national program to prepare scientific cadres to explore the Red Planet. The Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center was tasked with leading the project and developing a generational plan for a period of 100 years. It includes capacity building and national cadres specialized in the field of space science and research. The UAE Clean Energy Strategy 2050 aims to to produce 75% of the UAE's energy needs from clean sources by 2050. This strategy also aims to make Dubai a global hub for clean energy and green economy. The strategy consists of five main tracks. Infrastructure, legislative structure, financing, capacity building, competencies and employing an environmentally friendly energy mix. The Fujairah 2040 plan aims to strengthen the housing, transport and infrastructure sectors. The plan focuses on directing investment towards construction of roads and the development of urban services in the long term. It includes the expansion of the area of Fujairah Airport and the airport runway. The port of Fujairah will be provided with new terminals for oil tankers. The new phase of transformation in the Emirates. The future services, sectors and infrastructure will depend on it. This strategy is the first of its kind in the region and the world. It aims to achieve the goals of the UAE Centennial 2071, and accelerate development programs and projects to achieve the future. Improving effective government performance with an innovative work environments that achieve effective performance, cost and effort. By 2031, the UAE will rely on artificial intelligence and services and data analysis at a rate of 100%. The Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park is the largest strategic project to generate renewable energy. It will generate 1,000 megawatts by 2020, and 5,000 megawatts by 2030. The first phase of the project, with a capacity of 13 megawatts, began in 2013. The second phase to produce 200 megawatts was inaugurated in March 2017. The third phase, with a capacity of 800 megawatts, was commissioned in 2020. The fourth phase of the project will have a capacity of 700 megawatts starting in the last quarter of 2020. The fourth stage includes the tallest solar tower in the world, with a height of about 260 meters. UAE Smart Mobility Strategy Objectives To convert 25% of all transportation in the UAE to autonomous driving by 2030, the strategy is expected to generate 22 billion Emirati dirhams, annual economic returns in many sectors. 
by reducing transportation costs and saving hundreds of millions of hours wasted in traditional transportation. Aiming to make Dubai a global platform for companies and industries based on knowledge, innovation and sustainability. The strategy consists of six main industrial subsectors, namely aviation, naval ships, pharmaceuticals, medical equipment, manufactured metals, consumer goods, machinery and equipment. Construction of the tower began in late 2016, where the structure of the tower represents the stem of the flower. The structure is connected to the project floor by strong cables, inspired by the shape of lily leaves. The flower bud is fixed in the ground with high accuracy. The oval bud shape defines the tower's viewing platforms. The Dubai Creek Tower is expected to reach more than 1,000 meters in height to be the tallest tower in the world. It is expected to cost $1 billion. Dubai Creek Tower was expected to open in 2020. Due to the corona pandemic, the opening has been postponed, and is expected to take place in 2022. This mixed-use project has a special feature. It is Dubai Square located in the heart of Dubai Creek. It is characterized by technological innovations that permeate all aspects of the one window. This plaza houses a wide range of world-class shops, restaurants, and entertainment attractions, where customers can shop on their mobile phones or visit stores. Dubai Creek will provide luxurious and sustainable residential areas with unique views of Dubai's urban landscape. It will be the largest shopping center of its kind in the world. This project is a fully air-conditioned city. It covers an area of more than 48 million square feet. This project will receive more than 180 million visitors annually thanks to its huge area. The cost of the Mall of the World is more than 80 billion dirhams of which 30 billion dirhams is allocated to the first phase of the project only. The first phase is expected to be completed before the exhibition the project will include the largest retail space in the world. Tourists will be able to enjoy lodging in apartment buildings and hotels, which will include more than 20,000 hotel rooms inside the mall. In your opinion, which of these projects will be the best in the UAE? And here we come to the end of the video, do not forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.